Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Linda Israel. I'm so glad to have you here today. Oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. I didn't see it till just now. Thank you so very much. I am Linda Israel. As I said, it's 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time on Monday. What is this? August the 3rd. It's August, y'all. Can you believe it? Eight months into 2020. We're almost through it, y'all. We can make it. <laughs> I'm so glad to have y'all here. I'm glad that you could hang out with me while I create. And while you're here, you do earn what we call junk bucks. In fact, if you type exclamation point raffle, you can be entered to win 200 junk bucks. Junk bucks are a virtual currency that I use on my channel as a thank you and incentive for those that want to watch live. And you can collect those junk bucks just by being here. You can get them from playing the in chat game. You'll see that coming up everyone. Once in a while. Also, if you make a donation, thank you so much, Cynthia, as well as Margie for making a donation. When you make a donation, you get junk bucks uh, added to your account. When you uh, have 2,000 junk bucks, you can redeem those for a coupon for $10 off to my store. Now, if you want to check your bucks, type exclamation point bucks, and that will tell you how many that you have. Once you have 2,000 of them, you can type exclamation point award. By the way, those that donate, if you haven't already, make sure you go over to lindaisrael.com, create a user account while you're there, and send me a message through the contact form say hey I'm so-and-so on YouTube don't you say so-and-so tell me your name <laughs> thank you Rhonda for your donation and I will get you added to my YouTube donation group membership on my website what does that give you it gives you some free digital downloads by the way I'll be using one of those I think I'm using one of those I've got a brand new digital download Robin will probably share it here in just a moment that I just added so it is free to those of you who donate if you haven't donated then you might do it now because I got a bunch of those and they're free if you've donated <laughs> any dollar amount. And then also you get 5% off of your orders through my website. <clears throat> And those stack up. So if you become a Stencil Club member, which is $19.95 a month, you get 20% off all your stencils. Well, I give you an additional 5% off. So you're actually getting 25% off of stencils through my shop. It's an amazing deal. Alrighty. So let's get started today. I will be working with the Punked Out Steam in the large journal kits. I printed them myself on 100 pound no I take that back if you purchase it printed it's 100 pound conch stock and it is 24 pound maybe a little bit heavier on the um, text weight pages if you will and then if you also um, print it at home like I do I like to use linen cardstock as my cardstock paste and it's about uh, 60 pound I think it is and then my copy paper well it's whatever I get I need to order some more <laughs> and I'm using a Hewlett Packard it is a HP MV photo 7855 that's the printer that I use with the instant ink program I like it because I can do 300 
prints a month and it only cost me $9.99 and they send me all the ink cartridges I could possibly need to get those 300 pages. Alrighty, so I'm using the large kit. I have printed it myself. A couple of t pages I did print twice because my goal is to make two journals today and we're going to use all of these little elements. I had a few things left over but we'll use them to make journal cards or something later on. So in the Punk Out Steam subscription box, the creative kit, which I have plenty of those right now in my shop, those will ship out on August the 15th. And thank you all for being here. I, I haven't said hi to everybody. So I see little sister Cheryl. So Cheryl, Lori, Margie, uh, Giovanna, and uh, let's see, Carol, and Kim, and Robin, and Kristen. By the way, let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. If you have a question, put it in all caps. I'll do my best to answer that question. If I don't see it, please ask again, and I'll try to answer it. If you know the answer to that question, please help them out. Let them know what you know about that question, what their answer may be. Robin is my right-hand woman, and I am so blessed to have her in my life. In fact, she's supposed to come visit me really soon, so I'm looking forward to that. I think we've got a month before she comes <clears throat> and she will take notes throughout the live stream but if there's something that you need to talk to me about my your orders definitely go to my website and use the contact me form that way I have an email address so we can email back and forth but if you have just a general question about you know how do I use something or what is that called just ask and we'll try to answer it for you okay so I'm using some of the pages out of the Punked Out Steam subscription box. And this is like a numerical table. It was a mathematics book that I picked up. And what I've done is I just trimmed this edge just so it'll be smooth. I didn't want the torn edge. You can have the torn edge. That's up to you. I folded it in half and I thought we'd use that as a journal page. Next, I have a couple of these um, tear off pages that I got from a little notepad of paper. I pick them up at uh, Dollar Tree here in the United States. I have a whole stack of them. I go in whenever I find them for a dollar for these little pads of paper, I buy them. But you could use like a junior legal notepad. You could cut it up. You could use notebook paper. You could use scrap of paper that is pretty much blank. These have little lines on them. I'm gonna put some a glue on the back side, just as a lean's tacky glue. I've gone ahead and went around the outside edge with some walnut stain distressed ink. I'm trying to make this somewhat in the center of my page. And I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side as well. How is everybody? Did y'all have a good weekend? I hope you had a great weekend. I've been uh, busy, busy, busy. We worked a little bit in our yard this weekend. Not a lot. Pulling weeds mainly. And then I've had a few flowers in pots that needed to be moved to larger pots. And a while back, I had flowers in larger pots that I put in the ground. Once they were established, I thought, well, I can use those pots to transfer. So I was transferring things. And Henry was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm repotting these. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that. <clears throat> All right, so now that I have glued those down, and I thought it would be kind of cute to take the stencil here. It's a relatively new stencil. I can't remember if I called this one Gears Wallpaper. Um, is Robin here? I don't see my chat's not staying up. Uh-oh, why aren't we staying up? Oh, yes! Uh, Rob, Rhonda got the journal. Awesome. I'm so glad. Okay, for some reason, Junkie Joe's not giving me... Oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. I had to refresh for some reason. It wasn't keeping me... Did anyone donate? Rhonda donated $5. Cynthia Dossett donated $5. Margie donated $10. And thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Oh no! I'm sorry, Ashley. I hope he's okay. Thank you, Robin, for your donation. <clears throat> um, 
crafty blonde girl, Rhonda, if you type something out and you do not have proper punctuation and spacing when you use your periods, it thinks that you're trying to post the link, so it's going to yell at you. But don't be offended. It's okay. <laughs> Had a fun weekend, Lori. Your son and his girlfriend came to visit. Oh, if, and your granddaughter's second birthday. That's awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. All right, so I've laid in one of my Gears stencils, and I've got the punked yellow from the Punked Out Steam uh, Tattered Angels kit. There's a set of six paints, and so I'm going to spray this. I'm going ahead and spraying all the way around the outside edge because we can use that journal page somewhere else if we want. And I'm grabbing a piece of copy paper, and I'm going to mop up on top of the stencil because I don't want to waste it. I want to be able to use it all. <laughs> nope, nope, it's not, it's not a scammer. It's just if you didn't have a space between the period and your next word. Julie, check your email. Check your email. It should be there. I sent it. All right, so there is my page. Oh, thank you, Lori, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you see the gears on there. And then look what it does. We're waiting on the sheep. Just waiting on the sheep. <laughs> <clears throat> and it has a little void in the center. We can use that later on. We may not use it today, but we'll have it. All right, so there is this part of the page that I've got made. I've got my sample over here. I've got from the tags stamp set. Love mop up pages. They're fun, aren't they? <laughs> I'm going to use this large tag and stamp it over here. And I'm going to rotate it and stamp it on this side. I've got the word journal. There's a set of four in this rubber stamp set. And I don't know, I particularly like this one for some reason. So I'm going to stamp it right here. And we'll stamp it again right here. Okay. And I'm going to flip it over. Flip it. Now that I'm on this side, I've got a scrap that was left over that I cut up for another page that we're going to make here in a moment. And it's just silly. I'm just going to glue it across the top of the page. I will add a little bit of Distress Ink. It's got that good patina in it. In your subscription box, you'll get a few of these pages. And what are they? They are automobile repair manuals. And I thought they would be kind of fun. <clears throat> oh, woohoo! Already! Good job, everybody! We've, we're going to give away for sure one journal today. If you want a chance to win one of those journals, just make a donation of any dollar amount. And remember, your donation, you also get digital downloads from my shop, and you get the discount. And you're supporting me. You're keeping me here to hang out with y'all and show you what I know. All right, so there is the start here of a little journal page that we're going to put in our journal. I've got, this is from the... Uh, cover page for the large journal kit. When you buy the printed kit, I print or have print one of these pages that has little images on it and it describes it as the, the punked out steam kit, punked out steam 2 kit. And I just cut it apart and use it. I've also included that in the digital. So if you order the digital download, I think I have it included. If you didn't get it, let me know. Because my plan... Oh, I didn't get enough glue on there. My plan is to make sure that you get a copy of that. And I know I had to go in and add it on a few places. So I may have to go back and add it. <clears throat> but I thought it would be kind of cute if I placed it right here in the corner and made a little tuck spot. Hey, Norella! Welcome, welcome, welcome! You couldn't resist. You had to get the kit, Margie. <laughs> It's a fun kit. I hope you enjoy using it. And you'll share when you do use it. And don't just hoard it, y'all. Use it. Use that kit. Use it. Use it. All right, so I'm going to lay this up here. I've got, I know I use this a lot. This is the Postscript Collage. I'm going to use that right now. You're welcome, Julie. I'm glad you got your coupon code. I'm going to stamp it up here in the corner. 
You're welcome, Sherry. I, I hope you got it in yours. If not, let me know, and I'll get it sent to you. I need to update it. I was trying to make sure that I had it in there, and some of them I have it, some of them I don't. You know, there's a lot that I have to do, y'all. Sometimes I miss a step. <laughs> You're still hurting the first time, Margie? Oh my goodness, woman. Get it out and play with it. And this is from the kit. And I just thought that little bee was kind of cute. So I'm going to put that there. I This is one of my rubber stamps. Um, I can't tell you the name of it. I'm really bad about it. But I stamped it on yellow cardstock. And I thought it would be a cute tuck spot. So I'll glue this in place. <laughs> now you can shop to your drop. Yes, I, and that's one thing that when I talked to Norella, as she was the designer from Calico Collage of the images that we use in the kit, I said, hey, let's make it again. Let's update. Let's use different images, but let's blend it so that if you want to have Punked Out Steam and Punked Out Steam 2, you could put those together. What do you think so far? And then I've got a little journal card, and we have a squirrel. Norella decided to do the squirrel so that um, <laughs> we could be reminded that Linda gets off on a tangent following the squirrels. <laughs> All right, there you go. And then this is the Schaefer's Ink. And I just thought that was a fun little piece. I was going to use it as a tuck spot, but I thought it would just be a cute little ephemera piece. So there is just a quick little journal card, journal page that we're going to put in the journal. And I made another one, different image here, but the same concept on this one. So there is one page down, a few more to go. Set this over here. You're welcome. We get it. I'm busy. <laughs> I play with the stuff. That's right. I have to play with stuff so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right. So this page I have not planned at all other than I've picked a piece of paper for my foundation. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this page. I'm just looking at it. I'm going to dig around over here. Let's see what stencil do I want to use let's use the half sheet stencil that comes in the subscription box and we're going to get my spray box out and let's mix some colors we're going to be a mixologist here in just a moment let me get it I want it somewhat centered okay um, I got the purple and I've got that's the punked out steam two color and I've got the punked blue. It's kind of an aqua color and I've got a little bit of the punk pink. We'll go ahead and marge all of uh, just go ahead and shake them. But wait, there's more pages to come. A lot squirrely. We're all a little squirrely, right? That's what makes us fun. Hey, Jennifer, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You got it here. You got it. Oh, the dragonflies. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. Are you doing the dragonfly swap? There's a, if you haven't joined the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, hang out over there because we have swaps that we put together. Robin is one of our admins as well as Cynthia. And we have swaps that you can participate in if you want. You don't have to. It's just there if you want to. Okay, I kind of did pink. I got that aqua purple in the middle, a little bit of the teal at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and open this other side up and lay it on top. And I'm just spraying inside of a box because when I'm on live stream and I'm spraying, I don't want the spray to go all over my desk because then I have to stop and clean it up. It's just easier. So sometimes when I stick my hand in here, I'll touch the sides. And if y'all ever notice, I have black on my fingers. It's because I touch the side. Oh, wait, I need to spray the back side just a little. I think I'll do that blue. I like the blue. It's one of my favorite colors. So there's the mop-up page that we made with the side. <clears throat> And here is where it sprayed through 
the stencil that comes in Um, Giovanna, if they're clogged, number one, before you use them, shake them really well, number one. Because what's happened, if they clog, it's because it sucked up the mica into them. If you haven't used it for a very long time, then you'll need to clean the nozzle so that when you go to spray, it will work. And honestly, I have found that... I just take a little bit, I have a little bottle that I put rubbing alcohol in, and what I will do, I'm going to towel, if I've got one that is not, you know, I haven't used it in a while, and I know it's a possibility it could clog, I will spray it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and kind of rub on it, and then wipe it off, and then usually it won't a clog and if it's still not working right I could take a straight pin and then poke it into that hole and sometimes that will clear out whatever's in there and then lastly if it's really clogged take this whole unit off of the bottle um, here's one take the whole unit off of the bottle and you can take it apart all these pieces and clean it really really well let it soak in some warm not boiling hot because it's plastic and it will melt and see if that doesn't clear it out if you still have problems and you need sprayers um Tattered angels does sell the sprayers just let me know and i can get you a sprayer a replacement sprayer okay you're welcome glad to help you yeah, put the bottom where you're not spill it. Exactly. When you take the lid off, don't put it down where you'll spill it. Because I've done that. All right, I'm just going to use my heat tool real quick to dry the paper. Because it's kind of wet. All right, so I've sprayed it with Tattered Angels. That's all using the colors from the kit. It's colorful, is it not? I like using the notebook paper. It gets that crinkly sound when it's dry. You're like a little kid when you get the swaps, Lori. Aren't they fun? All right. I'm kind of looking at the chat. All right, so that's somewhat dry. It's not perfectly dry. I've got some little elements up here that we'll use. And I thought, let's see, let's, let's look at this. So you can leave it just like that. If that's the way you want your decorative page to be, we can stamp on it. Let's do that. I think that's what I want to do today. So let me look at my stamps. Oh, you know, I haven't used this stamp in a while. I kind of like that stamp. So let me get me a block. And I think I'll stamp that on the page, but come down just a little bit where it's not at the very top. I like that. We'll do it again. And why not? We'll just go ahead and do it on the other side as well. That's kind of cute. All right. And then I have in my stash some little images. So what if we were to put an image like that? I'm going to do this again on this page. So I might as well stamp it. I'm going to do that first. That way I can kind of do them at the same time. So we're going to come down just a little bit and stamp. I can't remember what this one was called. I need to uh, work on sorting in my website. I was talking to Robin and we were trying to come up with names and categories for stencils. Like she said, how about abstract shapes? It's okay, that might be a good one. All right. So I've stamped on both of those. And then I've got a few little images. I've got this bee. So what if we put the bee there and I have a hummingbird? Let's put the hummingbird there. So it just kind of gives a little decoration at the top. Oh, congratulations, Giovanna. You got your coupon code. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And tell my regulars because they earn those coupon codes every 
other month or so. All right, so we'll put those there. On um, this side, I like these little tags that Norella made this time. And she's made some other ephemera kits. If you haven't checked them out, go to calicocollage.com. She has some new ephemera kits that have little tags like this. And I thought they were kind of fun. I kind of, you know, said, hey, you need to make more of those. And she says, I'm on it. I'm already doing it. I said, well, good job. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> Oh no! You, your your drawer's not quite wide enough. Of course, you're in Australia, so things are different sizes, all metric, right? <laughs> all right. So I did that side. I'm gonna keep it relatively simple. You can see how that's gonna look. So let's do something on this side. I have uh, I have some words. We have illuminate. I could put that above in steampunk. Let's see what else we have. I have time machine. It may not fit above. Maybe we'll put it below. We can alternate. It's okay. We'll do it like that. How's that? It's a quick way. Yes, different sizes. Put it right here. Leave the top. You can put something up there if you want. Who signed up for the subscription box? I know some of you have. I go, I have a spreadsheet that I work off of. So I go in and I update it when y'all place your order. So I know for sure who's getting a kit. Yeah, I'm on it, Doug. Got it exactly. She does. I'm on it. I'm doing it. Leave me alone. Quit bugging me about it. <laughs> Margie says, me. She's getting the kit. All right. So what do you think of that page? It says time machine. You got the gears. You have lots of writing space. Cynthia says, I did. Rhonda says, me. Woohoo, me. Here's this side, and then there's that side. And then we did the same thing here. All right, we'll set this aside now. All right, where are the other pages? I made, I'm making a pile here. These are the pages, so I've got to put them where we can find them when we go to put it together. All right, so here's the supplies that we're going to use for the next journal page. Got stamps everywhere. Put the stamp back where it belongs. Only stencils for now. You love them. Thanks, Jennifer. I'm glad you love them. Thank you so much, Giovanna. Thank you. Some of my favorite colors, so it was easy. All right, so I'm getting all my supplies out here. I've got a few extra ephemera pieces if I need them. Extra bits and pieces. It's right there. All right, so here's what I have. I have the digital download, and I'm pretty confident that this is the most recent one. I always forget if I got it done or not. Digital. I, I edited a bunch, so I don't know if this is the one that I got up there. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is Vivid Teal and Pink Gel Prints Digital Download. And this is one of the pages, or three pages, in this live, or in this uh, digital download. Thank you, Jennifer, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Greatly appreciate it. How are you, lady? <clears throat> so that's this side. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and... I haven't put anything on the back side yet, so let's do that. Here is another page out of that manual, that repair manual. And I'm going to apply some Distress inks real fast to the edges. Now this paper is brittle. A while back, one of my friends, Sally, asked, what do you do with those pages that 
you get out of books that are really brittle, we'll glue them to another piece of paper. And that's what I'm going to do here. You know, I like the look, but it's not strong enough to be a page by itself. So I'm just going to line this up and then glue it down straight onto the page, just like it is. But we're going to alter it. But wait, there's more. We've already made two pages, y'all. Rocking and rolling. Oh, you love her products, Jennifer. Yay, I'm so glad. I harass Norella all the time. So, okay, you need to make this. You need to make that. <laughs> all right, so there's this part. And then this is a strip from a mop-up paper that is using the Retro Panel 2. I'm going to go ahead and apply some Distress Inks to that edge. So I've gone ahead and gone all the way around that edge. Let's glue it down. I'll glue it where it overlaps just a tiny bit onto this page. Okay. Got a boss fight going. Be like a boss, man. Y'all got big plans for your week? You doing anything exciting? We had beautiful weather this weekend, so we sat outside for a little while. And then I sat there so long that I was like, okay, I'm looking at that corner. And there's some weeds over there that need to be pulled. And Henry's like, no, don't do it. You need a wireless printer, but you're so tech challenged. You know, Margie, that Hewlett Packard really makes it, um, you know, easy to hook up. All right, so there's my page so far. I'm going to go ahead and kind of help it and fold it in half. Okay. My page kind of. Be it, don't be an Audi, be an any. Be gentle. Okay. Finals week for you, Cynthia. Whoop, whoop. You won't screw it up. You can do it. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. It's time. If y'all haven't got into the raffle, do so now. You could win 200 junk bucks, and you too could be like Giovanna and get a coupon code. All right, move that up here for a moment. All right, so I've got this part and this part. I've got my new diamonds with flare. Diamond with flare? Diamonds with flare. I don't remember if it's plural or not. Just do diamonds. <laughs> do diamond and you'll find it. And I'm going to use Dusty Concord and one of the oval makeup brushes. And I'm going to come in here. And this is how I'm altering my page. Are you getting your coffee this morning, Ju uh, Julie? <laughs> oh no! You're having the COVID crisis in Australia, so you're having to bunker down. I wondered how long it would take to hit y'all, since you're an island and all. Hopefully y'all are staying healthy and safe. We went to a store this weekend that as you walked in, they were taking our temperature. I was like, okay, this is weird. All right. So you ready for the big reveal? You ready? You ready to see the pattern? There it is. Now, doesn't that change that repair manual book to be a little bit different? Kind of fun, huh? All right. So I'm going to grab a piece of paper here. And I want to stamp across this corner. So I've got the, I think it's called Key Fringe. And I've got Jet Black Archival Ink. Y'all enter the raffle. Yeah, my uh, HP, I really like it because I can set it up to be Bluetooth or wireless or wired. It's really easy. 
All right, so there is that portion. And I have a little piece of paper here. Oh yeah, I wanna use this piece. And I've got this piece. This is another little thing that Norella put in the kit. It says notes. I thought it was kind of cute, so I'm gonna put it right there. Laksu. And then here's another element from the kit. That's kind of neat, isn't it? I like it. I'm gonna glue it down right down here. I don't use a lot of glue. It may look like there's a lot, but really there isn't. I also water down my glue just a small amount. I transfer from a big bottle to that smaller bottle so it's easier for me to hold. Exactly, Marge. I agree, but I knew I didn't have a temperature. Well, okay, I have my body's normal temperature. <laughs> I almost asked the guy that was doing it, um, have you had to turn anybody away yet? All right, so now I've got another one of those tear-off pages that I've gone ahead and applied some distress inks. And I've got from the textured edges, this is like the, I kind of call it damask. And we're gonna stamp around like like you're here with me you're right here with me holding the stamp pad and the stamp putting it together we are stamping this <laughs> they took your temperature too Lori yeah yeah some are naturally hot some are normal for me is actually below i'm my temperature is usually below normal all right let's do the raffle now i think everybody is in you know what i forgot to get some prizes out what do i have here ah here we go oops something fell what fell oh yeah i might want those I'm not, you're not getting these today. I'm saving them for Thursday. What else do I have here? Oh, yeah, we've got some of these. Okay, cool. All right, so I found a couple of prizes, and I knocked more stuff in the floor. Dad gum. Knock it into the floor. Ah, Lori. Uh, Lori says, teaching kindergarten, we had uh, kids act sick halfway through the day. Turns out mommy gave her Tylenol in the AM and sent her to school. Wow. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll do that here in just a moment then. I'm, I've got one prize for right now. So this is from... Um, Cynthia Dossett. Is that right, Cynthia? You did these little ephemera things. So we'll do that in just a moment. All right, so pick a winner for 200 junk box. The winner is Bonnie Lipke. Congratulations, Bonnie. Oh, cool, Julie. I, I have some little brown paper bags with the damask powder on them, too. All right, so Bonnie won the 200 junk bucks. Congratulations, Bonnie. Thank you, Kim, too, for being here. And Cynthia, okay, I thought that was one of yours, Cynthia. All right, so now we're going to reset this. And we're going to do, what is this? I don't even know. Okay, part by Cynthia. Oh, new subscriber. Thanks for subscribing, Kathy. All right, open giveaway. So these are some hearts, ephemera. She looks like she's used some alphabet. If Oh, I just, I got to pick on it now, Cynthia. You used um, stickers, didn't you? Look, we got to get the opening out of it. Look at there. It says ephemera, and we'll use the A. There we go. 
See, we made it perfect. <laughs> so she's made this uh, big label piece. Did you do that on your Cricut, Cynthia? I never asked you if you did that. It's kind of cute because you've got like a little file folder that you could put stuff in. And then you're ready for the big reveal. Here's what you're going to possibly win today. <laughs> Look at these little hearts that she's done. So she die cut some hearts and then she's used some different words and flowers that she's punched probably out of some mixed media pages and then she's added some bling to them. Super cute, super cute. All right, so that will be our next prize. And then Crafty Blind Girl said that she is going to donate a prize. So we'll do that here in just a moment. All right, y'all into the raffle. So I stamped all the way around. I'm going to get my journal page back. So I've got my journal page. And I'm going to put this piece, let's put it up here in the upper corner. Yeah, it kind of covers up where I use the stencil, but I think it's cool. <laughs> no per no per per perfectionism here. <laughs> oh, it came in a pack. Oh, cool. I got gotcha. you. I, I think I probably have a... a image like that in my Cricut software. So that would be kind of fun to make up and you'd have them. You're going to do some shopping in my shop. <laughs> shop to your heart's content. Aren't those cute? They're really cute. All right. So there's this part. I have, oh yeah, we've got uh, an image from the kit. Let's put that right there. It's a little pansy right? Pansy. Not a petunia, a pansy. Could also be a, uh, what's the other one that looks like this? I can't remember the name of the flower. All right, I want a little something down in this area. So I have from the kit this little, um, is this a lion, a lady lion? It's not a leopard. It's not a, uh, what's the other? Not a, a panther? Maybe, maybe Norella will speak up. And I've got a book page here that I glued together so it's double thickness. And I think what I want to do is I'm kind of eyeballing this. Is I'm going to come in here and just rip it. So it's a way to use those junk papers too that you might have. And let's apply some distress inks around the edges. So this is how you can get that, you know, cool collage effect on a page if you like that look. All right, so let's put this guy on top. Yeah, it just kind of makes it a little pocket. Move this out of the way for a second. Sassy little lioness. There you go. Norella tells us sassy little lioness. A lady lion. Lioness. All right, so I just kind of glued those together. And we're going to make a tuck spot down here. So I'm kind of eyeballing it. And I'm going to put it on this side and this side. I don't normally go that way, but because I glued this on this side, I wanted the elements to be over here to the other side. So I'm just pressing down my two book pages that I glued together. All right. All right, we'll come back to this side later after this is glued to put the journal card in. You got my email? Yay, Sam, I'm glad. She's from the early 1900s animal book. She was paired with a lion. Oh, cool. That's really cool. I love it when you find those little neat things. Yeah, look for those repair manuals that he doesn't need anymore. Because they usually have some really nice color discoloration to them. All right, so we're going to flip this over. And on this side, I want to find a rubber stamp, and I did. All right, so this time, making sure I've got it right side up, and I didn't flip it over all the way. I've got the, 
can't remember what this one was called. It's not, uh, it's Key Play, I think. Key Play. And I want to stamp it in this upper corner. Off the page a little bit. Well, Lori, you can use the financial stuff. I mean, so long as it's not, you know, private information. If it's just bunches of numbers, you can use those pages for foundation pages or pockets. And this is an, an again, that's one of my digitals that I created. Put my key back over here. Put this key over here. There. All right, so I put a little bit of decoration up in the corners there. I've got some images from the kit. This is an old telephone, it looks like. I don't know what this is, a lamp? It looks like a lamp. So let's put that, let's go here and here. I'll just add it here to the corner. Now, if you want to add a torn book page, you could as well. It's boring financial stuff. Even better, Laura, you can use it as a, a base. Paint over those papers. Make them into pockets. Stencil over them like I did on the other side, you know, because even though it's just text, it's just some interesting color. Tie-dye it. Make it your own. All right, so then I've got these little images that are also in the kit. Aren't they fun? So we'll put those in the corners here. Like so. I'm just wiping away the excess glue. All right, what did I do with my towel? Ah, oh, there it is. I found it. I washed all my hand towels, and they're still in the laundry basket in the other room. No one else ever does that, right? <laughs> uh, I think I have two laundry baskets that I need to put away, and I haven't done it yet. I can I can dig it out when I need it. <laughs> all righty. How's that? So... I'm not going to put them in the pocket yet, but in the kit are these little envelopes, like a coin envelope. I didn't put the cards in them. I used them, uh, but they are big enough. I believe in the kit, this one's going to be used somewhere else, are little cards. You have to make sure that when you fold it, that you leave enough space for you to stick it in there. But we have these little cards that come with the kit. That's going to go over here. I'm just going to lay it there for now. On this side is from the kit, the light bulb. If you didn't get the subscription box, you're going to want to because I have a laser cut chipboard that's the same shape as this light bulb. Thank you, Barb, for your donation. That's going to go on this side, but I'm going to wait to put it in there for a moment. And then on this side, we have this little card that we're going to put in that pocket. So it kind of gives us a pretty little collaged page. So when you come to this page, that's what you would see. And when you get to this side, that's what you would see. Fun, huh? All right, so I'm going to lay these. I'm not going to go all the way in. Okay. Oh, where's my pile? There it is. And then here is the other, one of the other prints from that uh, digital download. This is a gel print that I made a couple weeks ago and I finally got them scanned into my computer and made them into digital files. And then same concept on the other side. I did the stenciling, stamping, use the ephemera elements. Yeah, my they're actually kind of blue, but yeah, they're kind of dusty concord too because I keep playing with that ink pad. <laughs> All right, put that there. All right, take a break, stretch. All right, how many pages have we made? Because we made those pretty quick. We have one, two, and three that we've made so far. Four, 
five, six. Oh yeah, let's do, let's do these. These are some coloring book pages, and sometimes I don't do anything with the coloring book pages. I thought today I have some extra little bits that were left over. So I've got these little flags. How about we do that? We put one maybe going that way, one going this way. We could put it that way, but I want to go this way. And let's see if we can find a word. How about out of my little box of stuff here? I've got dazzling and beautiful, charming, effortless. Okay, there, we'll use those. So, if I were to put this on here, do I want to layer it down? Do I want to go back this way and put it on? Let's do it like that. I, you know, I can change my mind. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Millie, welcome. So depending on if you want to have this as a tuck spot, you could just glue it at the top and then you could tuck things underneath it. So I'm just only putting a little bit of glue right at the top up here. Just kind of patting it into place. Then I'm going to take the word and glue it right over the top of it. So that'll kind of make this a, a nice little spot that if you had a journal card you want to put under it, a letter or something like that, you could. And then you still have the coloring book page that you can use. All right, so we're going to put the purple one over here, and I've got beautiful. We'll do the same thing. Yes, if you if you do it twice, Julie, it should add it to your cart again. So if you hit the cart button, it should add it to your cart. And then if you hit it again, it should add it to your cart again. And you can always change the amounts and check out. All right, thanks, Norella, for stopping in. Have a good evening. What's for dinner? Put that over here. Okay, we'll glue the others. So I'm going to do the same thing, purple and yellow. I'm making two journals, so I've, that's why I'm doing it in duplicate. Just go ahead and glue that down. Oh, goody, Julie says. <laughs> All right, so we've got that there. I think it's crooked. It is. There. A little bit straighter. All right. Glue this side. I had printed the kit twice, so I had two sets of these flags. And right, we'll put the word dazzling. Like so. All right, so there's nothing on the back side. I don't really want to spray it with Tattered Angels because I don't want the Tattered Angels to bleed through to the other side. But what if we did a stencil design? So I'm digging around in the stencils here. Let's see what I have. There's some gears. We've used that one. You know, I like this flourish tile. So I'm going to grab a scrap of paper. And I don't want to do the whole page. But I'm going to come down just a smidge from the edge. Right about there. We've done purple already. Let's grab a different color. I've got pink here, so let's do the pink, which is picked raspberry. And I've got a blending brush, which I think is the wrong color. All right, here it is. Got the right one now. So I'm just going to load it up. And I want a different scrap paper underneath. It's bigger. So if I get off my page, and I'm just going to stop at the top here, start at the top. Now you could use washi tape to hold it down. So I'm just going to do that corner. 
See how that kind of comes out? I'll go across to the other side. These stencil designs, if you didn't know, I draw myself. I draw them on my iPad and then I bring them into some software that I edit and make changes and prepare it to be a cut file. And then my husband runs the laser. Okay, I like that. Just a little pattern in the corner. Let's do it again. Thank you, Sherry, for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate y'all being here, hanging out with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All righty. I did a lot of back exercises today. My back's tired. I need to stretch some more. So here's taking a coloring book page and adding a little bit of a decoration, but leaving the page predominant the way it came to use in the kit or use in your journal. All right, so we've got that. Well, it needs more, doesn't it? It needs more. Oh, here we go. I've got this clock. Let's stamp it in the corners. There we go. That kind of adds just a little bit to it as well. And oh, let me stamp it again on this page. Stamping away. Stamping away. I just happened to see that there. Alright, so I've got two pages here and I have a key. We could put a key over here and then I've got this key with flowers. Can go there. I have some gears. So let's look at these. I have this gear and this gear. And what about if we used the little flower right on top? Just kind of making a little collage, if you will. The raffle right now is for this ephemera that was made by Cynthia Dossett. That's what the raffle is right now. You're running away from your computer. <laughs> Alright, so let's do that. I'm going to glue this one down up there. I'm trying to use up all the bits as much as possible. There's a few left over. I was trying to do it to where I had two of each, if you will. I have to remind Norella, when you make a journal kit, make sure that there's two. <laughs> Not three, two. <laughs> what is your favorite element in the kits whenever you get my subscription box? What's your favorite piece? I don't know. I like uh, I like the tattered angels. I like the printed kit that Norella designs. I like the ephemera, the cut, the fussy cut elements that we can use in our journal pages. <laughs> All right. What do you think? Just kind of decorated the page just a little bit. We got the little flag there. Another page made. All righty. Time to drink a beverage. Depends on the kit. You love the goodie bag with the sparkly stuff, the stencil, and of course the tattered angels. So you like that little uh, uh, ephemera pack. Do I have one still laying here? I've got a little, oh, it's not in there. I don't know where they are at the moment. <laughs> I cleaned up. But here's here's an idea of some. 
There's not that from that kit, but the little sparkly goodies that you get. Okay. Okay, I'm getting the next page ready. So we'll pull out all the supplies that I want to use. Get those all lined up. That goes with this one. That goes with this one. No, this one goes with this one. Got my stencil here. This one's going to be a complicated page. My page some of the ephemera pieces. So we'll lay those up here. Stencils. Embossing powder. We're going to use embossing powder. I'm going to put this on my big old block. Okay, mm. and let's put this on a block so I'll have it ready. So we're going to do a lot of stamping on this one and stencils and whatnot. This is one that's going to take me a little bit longer to create. So I was trying to create some... Uh, oh, I'm glad you found your needles. Hey, Laura, welcome. I was trying to show y'all, you know, some quick and easy journal pages that you can make. And then let's work on one that's a little bit more uh, complicated, if you will. I'll show you a couple of pages that I made prior to the live stream. So here is using the old window stamp on a page that I sprayed with Tattered Angels in green. And then I came back with the Mermaid Lagoon and the polka dot stencil and stenciled on top. Stamped the window in the corner and then this is one of the fussy cut elements. There it is again. On the inside I used the stencil from the what is this? So it's from the July Stencil Club, which has the gears. By the way, if, if you didn't get this kit, the Stencil Club is $19.95, $19.99 a month. And if you want a prior month, when you check out, say, hey, in the comments that you want April or May or 20, you know, April 2020, May of 2020, and that's what you'll get in your kit. So on this side, I use some of the dusty concord directly onto my chipboard. I'll show you this technique in a moment and used some embossing powder on top. It was clear holographic stamp the postscript collage in the background, put the number 20. I had some tickets left over from one of the other kits and I backed it with a piece of cardstock used one of the images from the kit and this little journal card. Over here, I use the rubber stamp of the, uh, it's a bunch of pen nibs. And then behind that is another scrap of paper that I stamped the gear stamp on. And this is a little bitty envelope that comes in the kit. It's just tiny. And I thought, right there, here we use that same clock stamp that we used a moment ago. And this is the same thing right here. I happen to have two of each of those, so I was able to make another page. All right, so here we go. Let me look at my page now. How did I do this? Let's start with this side. Okay. I have here a Bible page. Um, eight and a half by 11. It was a family Bible. It's one I picked up at the Friends of the Metropolitan Library book sale. If you are looking for books and it's hard for you to find them in your area, go to your library and ask them when they sell their out of circulation books because almost all of them do sell them and you can pick them up. And sometimes they even throw them away. It's kind of sad. Alrighty, so then 
How did I do this? Okay. I need this piece. And I have this piece. And I have this piece and this piece. So I'm kind of just looking at what I have here. I've already gone around the edges. This is a gel print using the half sheet from the August Stencil Club. And I am going to just glue that right across the top of my page here. Okay. That's what I'm missing. Where's, oh, there it is. I knew I was going to need that. So I'm going to glue this across the top. Congrats, Jennifer. You like the teeny tiny envelopes, Margie? They're super cute. And that's in the large journal kit. I already got a message from one friend, Rhonda, that said, Okay, Linda, I also want the digital download for the other, the, the, uh, the kits. I said, Okay, I can do that. Do I want to do that one? Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue down the strip here. I just had a mop up page that I cut apart. You love teeny tiny anything? They're fun. You know, I don't know if my library is using the regular hours because I haven't actually been to the library. The library sale was ha held in uh, February, the big one for the Metropolitan Library System in Oklahoma City in February at the fairgrounds. So I didn't have to go to the library. In Yukon, the library sale happens at a different building. It's not at the library, and the sales are only on Saturdays, like twice a month. So they'll have two this month. They may even have one this weekend. I'll have to look at the schedule. All right, so I'm just gluing that down up there. I have this guy. Do I want him here? Do we like this side? I think I like this side. We're going to cover up some of it. But I want to uh, have it in the background because of the coloration and what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil. Where is my pencil? Oh, here it is. Take a pencil. And I'm just going to mark where I need to cut off at the bottom here. Put my pencil back in the container so I know where it is. And I'm just going to trim off that edge. And I'll have a little strip. We'll use it maybe. Who knows, right? Hope, hope, nudge, nudge. It's time for the raffle. If you haven't already joined the raffle, please do so. Let y'all see that to remind you. I'm going to add a little bit of distress inks to the edges. Doesn't need a lot. And we're going to glue this down right here in this corner. Squirrels amok! Teen! It, teen, teeny tiny eeny weeny itsy bitsy journal. Yeah, there you go. You can stick one in there. You make it. You make it. All right, let's put that right here in the corner. All right, so we've got that one. And then over here, I've got another piece that I want to put in this corner. Yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to mark it here where I want to cut it and here where I want to cut it. You could glue it down and then just cut off the excess, whatever works for you. All right, so now I've got another little piece. Put some distress ink on the edge. Make sure that's the piece I picked up. I got two scraps here, so I don't want the one that won't fit. That, that, that. <laughs> oh, wrong color. That is not the one I want. 
Do I have... Yes, I have a bee and I have several honeycomb stencils, Julie. I have a bee stencil and several honeycomb stencils. You're very literal. <laughs> oh, dear. So I'm just using some distress inks on the edge. All right, well, that's, you know, plain. It's not that pretty. So let's... Uh, Let's do something here. I'm going to grab a, my spray box. I already did this once before, so I'm just going to use the same piece of paper. And I'm going to put it up in this upper corner. And we're going to spray it with some Tattered Angels. Not, not, it's two separate stencils, Julie. Two separate stencils. I also have chipboard bees. Chipboard bees that you can paint or use distress ink on or use embossing powder on. So I'm just making that pink. It's got a, a gold iridescence to it. I'm drying it. Have a great evening, Ashley. Enjoy dinner. Tell Brian I'm thinking about him. I hope he feels better. Love you. You're ordering the chipboard beads? Okay, you knew about those. All right, so now I've got this other page I'll be able to use another time. Another mop-up page. Just put it in my pile. We can use that some other time. Okay, so where are we? Oh, yeah. We need to do the raffle. So the next raffle, let's do that. I think everybody got in. They're in the middle of a boss fight. You have the butterfly and peacock chipboard pieces coming. Yay! Well, have fun with those, Sam. All right. So let's do the giveaway. I'm seeing the boss fight. Go get the boss. Duke it out, y'all. Keep those thumbs on the outside. Don't, don't, you know, don't put them underneath. <laughs> uh, Millie got in the raffle. Who's going to defeat the Glitter Boss? Ooh, a bunch of y'all got 17 junk bucks. Good job. Hey, James. Welcome. So glad to have you here. And Karen. Hey. And Maria. Hey. So well, sometimes I don't see your names when you're chatting until you uh, enter one of the, the uh, raffles or the boss fight. All right. So let's do the giveaway. And the winner of the Ephemera is that's the stuff julie parker congratulations julie you won good job i'll be able to stick that in your order <laughs> save me on shipping <sighs> all right put that up there okay so the next giveaway crafty blind girl you still here um she said that she was going to do some die cuts and a journal card, I think. So we're going to put that as our next raffle. And she's been really good about mailing them out. She's better at it than I am because she harasses me until I give her your address. <laughs> All right, so let's do that next. Yay, you're welcome, Julie. All right, we're going to reset. Go here. Um, I'm just going to say goodies. From Crafty Blind Girl. That's going to be, it's, it'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. So y'all enter the raffle. I guess I'll leave that there for now. All right, so we stamp this piece of paper. It's so shiny. And I'm going to put a scrap of paper down. I've got tick, tick, tick. 
as a rubber stamp. We're going to ink it up with the black archival ink. I think it's jet black, isn't it? Yeah, jet black. Jet black. We got it. All right. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking into the future. And I guess it doesn't really matter where you put it down. I'm just going to go ahead and just stamp. Thank you, Janice. You love surprises? <laughs> well, crafty ones are good, too. <laughs> yeah, because you haven't made them yet, Wanda says. <laughs> Thank you, Janice, for your donation. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to mail them. She's going to mail them out. She's pretty fast. Yeah, once she knows the Addy, she sends them out. She's good. I am blessed by friends like her. <laughs> All right, so I just kind of stamped over that. Isn't that kind of fun? And it kind of has that metallic -y look to it. It's funny because the other one didn't get that I made. Well, yeah, I guess it does. It doesn't. I didn't spray it as much as this one. I think I went a little heavy-handed. All right, so I'm going to glue this down right in that corner. Thank you, Laura, for your donation. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. So we're making a collage journal page here. Okay. And I'm, I'm pressing it. I'm not rubbing the paper because these thinner papers when they get wet with glue you can tear them so you want to be gentle with them all right so i want to fold this in half just so i know where my center mark is and start decorating this page a little bit more thank you karen for your donation thank you so much you love that the tick 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 it's a fun stamp it's great for a background or something like that. All right, so here is my center mark on my page. And let me see, what do I want to do? Okay, I do use that again. I need another block. Oh, here's one. So I've got the hot air ship. I don't know if it's hot air ship or hot air balloon. We're going to ink that up. And I'm going to stamp it over the crease here so it'll see it on both sides of the page. And it kind of over stamps onto the text below. So I just put the hot air ship on there. What do you think? You know, stamp cards are overloading to the floor. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. All right, so I took, this is the other print in the Vivid Teal and Peak uh, gel print download. And I just glued a couple of sheets of peeps, paper on the backside from a book. And I think I didn't do the edges, so we're going to do the edges really fast with some Distress Oxide. We're going to make a tuck spot for our journal page. Okay, so I got this piece, and then this is going to go on here, making sure I don't have this messed up. Yeah, okay. So this is going to go on here. And before I put it down, I want to stamp in the background. So I, although the pattern is pretty the way that it is, I want a little bit more. So I've got the twining vines. I think that's right. Twining vine? Curling, spiraling vine. That's what it is. Spiraling vine. All right. You had three. Now you need, a, you need four, Sam. You got to get more. And I'm just stamping it in the background. Well, I've been putting my stamps on uh, these sheets. So I have, I don't know if y'all can see. Let me see if you can see behind me. All right. So back here, this is a drawer that you usually find in like a, those plastic Sterilite trays. And the pages, because they're, I can't get in the camera this way, eight and a half by 11, they fit right in. And I keep putting 
them over here and it's growing and growing and growing. Plus I have some notebooks full of them. Isn't the spiraling vine pretty? It's just kind of pretty in the background. I've got this giraffe. Now I fussy cut this giraffe out. I didn't leave the border that Norella has on the image this time. I just went ahead and fussy cut it completely out. We're going to put it on there, but I want something else in the background here. It's not quite ready. I have, let me put this guy over here. This is from, uh, that's not a stamp pad. <laughs> I mean, that's not a, a block. Um, this is clocked out. I had to think of the name of it. Clocked out. So it's a set of four rubber stamps that are clock faces. You love the giraffe? Isn't it fun? And I'm going to put it right about here. And then when I put my giraffe over it, his, he kind of has the clock behind him. So let's glue this guy down. Let's glue him down. Glue it, glue it, glue it. Glue it. All right. Slide this over for a moment just so I can make sure. I get them stuck down. Don't be hanging off the page, man. All right. Isn't that cute? Oh, late for lunch, Connie. Well, we're glad you stopped in. I hope you enjoy your lunch. Okay, we're going to put this guy up here, but... I think before I put him down, just so he's not in the way, I'm going to stamp across here from the new Stitches set. It's a set of four rubber stamps that have different types of embroidery stitches. So I'm going to put that there, and we'll do it again here. I like that. What I didn't do is... I want to put some stitches around, where's my block, here it is, this part here. So I'm going to put a scrap of paper down, I'm going to stamp this way, and I'll stamp this way, and we're going to stamp down this way. And then across this way. I'll make sure I get all that stamping done. Jennifer's wearing good perfume today. Junkie Joe likes her. This out. Okay. So over here, I want to put this guy. And over here, I want to put this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those down so they'll be drying. So this is a way to use those gel prints that y'all have been making. I know you've been making them with me when you're here on Thursdays when I do my mixed media day. And then this guy's going to go over here. Maybe you should take a shower, Giovanna. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, this is another Stitches stamp set, Connie. This is new. You have shabby stitches, and this is called stitches, and it has four different embroidery file, oh, embroidery file, embroidery stitches. Here are the others. I don't know if you can see them. I have. I need to ink them up. I haven't inked them up in a while. That's gonna go there. Okay, and let's see what else I have in my little pile here. Oh yeah. We need to make a journal card. So we're going to get that out. I've got the word journal. We'll put that over here. Oh, I've got a little scrap of paper we're going to use. And I've got another stamp I want to use. So I've got the key stamp here. And using this as a guide, right about here, I'm going to stamp the key directly onto the gel print. And then I have the word 
time from time flies it's a rubber stamp set and I'm going to stamp that kind of in the bottom corner here that and it's too tall for me so sometimes I can eyeball it I'm gonna to try to do that today let's see if I can get away with eyeballing it and then we'll apply some distress inks to the edge on your wish list yeah there's a lot of stamps 400 designs I'm getting ready to add more because the end of August I will be working on a special journal for one of my fans and it will be a travel and Paris themed journal I think I'll put it right here so I'll be adding a bunch of Paris themed rubber stamps okay I told you there was going to be a lot of stamping on this page this is the journal stamp again just on a piece of craft cardstock all right so now I have a journal card that I want to put into this pocket I've already rounded the corners it's approximately a four yeah four by six journal card let's do some stamping on here so I have the um, flourish Floral, floral, floral flourish. I think that's what it's called. Floral flourish. Can't get it out. <laughs> and I'm going to stamp this by putting the tip at the corner. So I'm kind of looking at this at the corner here. Add a little decoration, if you will. And we're going to do it again from this corner. Okay. Kind of adds a little bit and then in my little pile of goodies here I have a butterfly this is the small butterfly that I have colored with tattered angels glimmer mist from the kit I use the punked what is it blue punked blue I use that color and then I put some tulip dimensional glitter paint tulip dimensional glitter paint on top so it sparkles I did that ahead of time so it would be dry and we're just going to glue it here in this corner there's a quick way to add a little decoration and I, I thought it would just be fun to have a lot of eclectic image in the steampunk journal so you got a little bit of that sepia color if that's what you like um, here it is I've got some that vintage color okay set that aside for a moment and then for the other pocket I have in the subscription box you get three of these file folders I've gone ahead and went around the edges with distress inks I'm going to use my bone folder to really crease it so that it'll stay closed and let's stamp in here I've got the stamp today so I'll put time back over here we got today I'm going to ink it up in the jet black again and then we're going to stamp that here this is part of the farewell word stamp set so there are small words but that says today I think that looks pretty cute put the today back and then I've got this pen nib medium this is the medium one and we're going to ink it up we're going to stamp it up in this upper corner like that put that back over here okay what do you think and this is going to go in this pocket this is going to go in this pocket see how our page come together so now we're going to flip it you don't know how much was the oh uh oh donna just donated thank you donna for donating two dollars we have Karen who donated two, Laura who donated two, Janice who donated two. There's a trend here. Sherry who donated two, Barb who do donated a dollar twenty-five. 
uh, Jennifer did $10. Thank you, Jennifer. Lori did $2. Thank you so much, Lori. Robin did $10. Thank you, Robin. Uh, Rhonda did $5. Thank you, Rhonda. Uh, Cynthia did $5. Thank you, Cynthia. And Margie did 10 at the beginning. So thank you so very much, ladies. I greatly appreciate your support. All right. All right. Pin nibs are favorites. Yeah, aren't they fun? It's kind of fun to kind of stick them in every once in a while. Um, oh, I forgot. One more thing. I have this word dreamer. And we're going to glue that right in here. I was I forgot that because it was covered up on my sample. I'd be like, what is this on my desk? All right, so this is going to go in here. Oops, not under the word and that's going to go on this side so I'm just going to set these aside for a moment so they're not in the way and flip my page over okay so this time I've got a scrap left over from the page I showed y'all earlier where we had a piece of paper that we um, glued down for writing space I've got this gel print and I didn't do it already, so I'm going to do it now. It's a scrap left over. I'm going to fold it in half, and that way I know where my cut area is. I'm going to cut this apart. Oh, no, you're all thrown off, uh, Robin. If you need me to do it again, let me know. Thank you so much for supporting me. All right, so I got those two pieces. I've got a piece from the subscription box. It's this alligator texture. I think we'll use that. This is going to go here. That's going to go there. Oh, yeah, so I had um, some more book pages. So I've got this guy that can go over here. And I saw some scraps. Let's see. I don't see the scrap that I want, so I'm going to dig around. Actually, I may end up with the scrap here. That's what it does. Okay, now I know. I'm going to apply some distress inks to the edges. Okay. Your order is done. Woohoo! Well, thank you for your order. Oh, we have a bad laptop. You have a laptop that's dying, Janice. Oh, I'm sorry. That's no fun. And I guess Robin's computer is having issues. We're going to have to get that fixed. She needs her computer. She's got to have it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these two pieces down so that I can mark where I want to glue this down and cut it. I'm also going to glue this piece down as well, I think. I may need to trim it. No, it'll fit. It will fit. We're going to glue it right on top. Oh, okay, Kristen. Maybe it's not uh, it's not coming through. You this if you're using Streamlabs, sometimes it's a little cranky. And you can donate through Streamlabs, or you can do it through the uh, YouTube. YouTube keeps thirty percent of a donation. Just so y'all know. Oh, I was gonna stamp on this. Well, I guess I can now. So we're gonna stamp on this. So I'll stamp like this and like this. Then because I didn't do it before I put the paper down and I don't want to stamp on the purple part, I'm just going to use the edge of a piece of paper to mask and I just got the whole little area. Okay, and then I've got this guy that I'm going to stamp all the way around as well. You had to step away. You don't know what's going on, Jennifer. Well, I'm making a journal. 
and I have a journal raffle right now. Y'all enter the raffle. It is for um, some mixed goodies, a surprise thing of goodies from Crafty Blind Girl. All right. That piece is going to go there. This piece is going to go there. All right, so I'm going to glue these two pieces down. You want to get a tablet again? Currently, only because it's part of my business, Sam, I have an iPad. Um, but if I didn't need the iPad for the drawing app, I've used the, um, uh, what is it, the Nexi, the Google one. I've had the Samsung, Samsung uh, tablet. I've had a Samsung, I've had a Google tablet. They've all been pretty good, I think, anyway. Oh, I should have put down this piece on the bottom first, but that's okay. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at this, and I think I like this side. So I'm going to push it up against the edge here. I want to overlap this just a little bit. So I'm kind of looking at how far I need to cut it. So I'm going to make a cut here first. And then I'll cut here. And that'll fit in that corner. And I'll save this piece. That was the piece I was looking for earlier and I could not find it because I had not created it yet. All right, so this piece is going to go here. I may turn it sideways. I'm looking to see what, oh, flip it all the way around. Okay, I'm going to go this way. I think I like that. That's where it's going to go. This piece is going to go here. And then I have this piece left over. And I'm going to cut off the American Motors. And then we'll measure how much of this I need for my page. And here's it, trying to get it straight. Welcome to the live! Oh good, Lori! I'm sorry you had issues. You had that same problem? <laughs> <sighs> Gotta remember what I'm doing. All right, so this piece is gonna go here. That's gonna go there. So I'm gonna mark it again, right there. And we're gonna cut it off right there. Okay. Oh, well, thank you for coming and hanging out with me, Jennifer, on your do yourself. Do it yourself. Do things for yourself. That's it. Do things for yourself. <laughs> Hanging out with us. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. We're going to do some more stenciling. This is a complicated page, y'all. I left it for the end. All righty. So, these two pages are plain. So, let's change that before I glue them down. I'm going to start with this page that's going to go on my journal. I'm going to grab the stencil from the July Stencil Club. I've got the Dusty Concord ink pad, and we're going to alter this by colorizing that stencil pattern with ink. I'm really pressing hard, so I want lots of color on here. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I appreciate you being here, hanging out with me. It's I have a good time doing this. I am going to be taking a couple of weeks off in September. Warning! Warning! I'll remind y'all later. Okay, I like that. 
So that's this side. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Uh, I'm going to put some distressings on the edge first. You like that one? That was from the July Stencil Club that had all of the, uh, was it July or was it May? I forgot now. The ones with all the gears. All right, so this I'm going to put, my nose is itching. I'm going to put up at the top here. So I'm just going to glue that down up here. Oh, thank you, James, for your donation. <laughs> Thank you, Marjorie, Mary Jo, Mar Maria Jo. Thank you. All right, so we're going to put that right here. I'm trying to press it down. All right, so we got that part. This is going to be a pocket, so I'm going to put it down here. I'm just going to center it on my page, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll go ahead and fold my page so it's centered. No time off, Jennifer. Oh, I hope you get some time. <laughs> oh, no, no time for me. I get your saying. I don't get any time. I'm hoping that I'll be able to make a couple of tutorials that I can record and I'll put those up for y'all on those days that I'm going to take off. Henry and I usually take vacation in September, um, but our normal go-to vacation is a cruise and the cruises are going to be shut down at least through November. Some of them are not going to start back until next year. So for now, I'm just going to basically do a staycation and do some things that I want to do uh, in my yard, uh, go see some friends and some family that aren't high risk and are willing to have my company. All right, so I've got the TikTok stamp, and I'm just going to position it just above my pocket and stamp it on my page. Okay, so we've got that in the background. And we're going to come back to the clocked out. And we'll stamp it in this upper corner. Mm. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. I understand. Aren't you French? Are you French, Marie Jo? If you're French, there's some people that speak French in the group. <laughs> Uh, okay, I like that so far. Um, we're getting there. Okay, we're going to do... This is a scrap that I cut off of here because that's how long that piece was. And this is five and a quarter inches wide. And then I used Memories Are Timeless Treasures of the Heart. And this is part of a set. You get a lot of neat little images in this set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these together with this offset just behind it. So, I want it here. I'm going to put just a line of glue right there on that edge. And attach these. Can you see that? And then we'll glue this whole thing down. You, you need that dusty encore. Oh, Spanish! Ah, oh, so habla espanol. And uh, no, that's about the extent of my Spanish. <laughs> I need to practice my Spanish. I, my uh, at my gym, my trainer is his. I think he was born here, but his father is a new um, American citizen from Mexico. So we talk every once in a while, and I I say I need to have you give me some lessons, some Spanish lessons. All righty. I want this guy, this guy. All right, so I've got a gear. We're still decorating this page, okay? So we got this little gear that I want to put down here. And I just saw it. I've got a little flower we're going to use. But I want to change the color of the gear. So I'm going to get my embossing ink out. 
and squish it to my gear and that'll ink it up and make it wet and ready for embossing powder. Okay. You stumbled through college spanning saying, no say, <laughs> no say, no say. Uh, no habla, no habla, no comprende. <laughs> I know a little bit. I know enough that I can stand there and go, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, food! I know that word! <laughs> All right, this is a copper embossing powder. I'm just kind of tapping off the excess. Set it aside. I'm going to put away the embossing powder. Don't do like I have done in the past and blow embossing powder everywhere. Especially if it has glitter in it. One of my Facebook friends, I don't know the name of the guy. I wish I would have remembered it. But apparently he does silly videos that he posts online. And someone sent him a 50-pound box full of purple glitter. And he said, well, y'all knew I was going to do something stupid with this, right? So he sets up a huge fan, like a 40-inch commercial fan in his apartment and takes the box of glitter and then <laughs> puts it through the fan and it just explodes everywhere. He had he was showing his he had glitter all up in his nose and his face. It was embedded in his goggles that he had on. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, food is international. Exactly. All right, so I've got the gear on a cake pan, a cookie sheet, only because the metal helps conduct the heat, and it will help heat up the embossing powder just a little bit faster, and I don't want to put it down on my mat and melt or warp my mat. Yeah, it was crazy. The video, it was a lot of glitter, 50 pounds of purple glitter. I'm like, dude... You are never going to be able to leave this apartment without glitter on you. And his landlord is going to kill him if he doesn't get that deep cleaned. <laughs> now, it's just crazy. All right, so I'm just heating this up until I can tell that all the powder has melted. <laughs> the maids quit that day. Exactly, Sam. <laughs> Yeah, the pan is good. Um, remember, it's going to be hot, okay? The pan's going to be hot. That's what we're supposed to remind you. The pan's going to be hot, and your embossed piece is going to be hot. So don't touch it right away. In fact, I'm probably touching it too soon, but I'm going to get up under it and set it on my page down here. It usually dries, cools off pretty quickly. So now, yeah, it's ready. All right, so this piece is going to go right here. Do you think that's pretty? Como se llama? No, not a llama. <laughs> yeah, you love purple, but no. You can say taco, tamale, empanada, cerveza, no ba so baños. I go, donde esta el baño? I can say that. Uh. And we are trying not to make fun of you, but I need to learn more of my second language. Yeah, donde esta el baño? That's the important one for sure, Jennifer. <laughs> I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> You'd have to use oven mitts, Robin. Isn't that pretty? All right, so then I've got this little ephemera piece that I'm just going to kind of put on there. Oh, yeah, the uh, wax linen thread. All right, so we got this side. I got to do the uh, journal card that I want to put in here. So I've got a journal card that I've already applied some distress inks to. And we're going to grab my new diamond with flare, I think. I don't know. Curves and, di curves and diamonds, I think. Curves and diamonds, not diamond with flare. Curves and diamonds. I'm going to put that on there. I've got uh, 
What do I want to use? The Mermaid Lagoon? Yeah, let's use that. So I'm going to use the Mermaid Lagoon. I need to put some things away. It's starting to bother me. I'm going to do this all over this white journal card. So if you've got white paper and you're like, man, that's too stark white, and you don't coffee dye or tea dye, use a stencil. Yeah, llama in Spanish is pronounced llama. <laughs> you love that stencil, yeah? It's a fun stencil. I love how it comes together. And you see the patterning? All right, look, let's put some stamping on the top. Get my block. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking into the future all right so i'm just kind of lining this up and I, since they come together they're the same thickness oh i didn't get it stuck down so you can stamp them at the same time if you put them on a block make sure they're firmly on the block and not going to fly off because you know time flies I'm going to put that right here. I know. Punny. Saba el burrito más cute. Yeah, I love uh, uh, burritos a lot, too. <laughs> yeah, ja, 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 she says. <laughs> I speak taco burrito. Does that count exactly, Sam? <laughs> so there is the start here of a journal card, but wait it needs more so now I'm going to use the stitches and I just love how it transforms this card just adding the stitches around the edge takes this card up just another notch you see that it frames it nicely so this guy's gonna go right here alright so we have this piece that's gonna go right here but it's plain. It needs something. Don't need that anymore. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lay that underneath the stencil from the August Stencil Club. I want pink. Oh yeah, that's the pink side. Alright, and I've got my pink here. And my pink blending tool. Yep, yeah, that's it. Don't need this one anymore. There's a doggy. <laughs> oh dear. That was your senior class song. Tom keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking. That's funny, Karen. All right, so I'm going to come back on top of this page out of an automobile repair manual. And we're adding the August, one of the August stencil clubs to the top of it. And that adds a pattern. What do you think? Enter the raffle! Crafty Blind Girls giving away some goodies. All right, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to ink the edges. You gotta remember the page is rather uh it is slipping, it is not ticking, it's slipping. <laughs> Time keeps on slipping. Yeah, it's slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. But I said ticking because it was um time keep time flies. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that down. How dare you re, re, you know uh reprimand me. No, correct me, that's it. Correct me, correct me. <laughs> on song lyrics, oh my gosh. Henry knows song lyrics. Okay. Yep. Come on. Glue it down. All right. So we got this little collaged corner here. I've got um, 
another element from the kit. I think that'll go right there. I'll put this guy right there. So it kind of decorates that just, just a touch. And then, uh-oh, where'd it go? Did I lose it? I just had it. Ah, there it is. Okay. I've got a peacock. We're going to add this peacock to the page. So first what I'm going to do is use the blueprint sketch. I've got some embossing powder. I think that's the right one. Yeah, because I wanted this darker blue. And I'm going to mush it onto my peacock. And basically I'm colorizing my peacock. So this works great if you only have clear embossing powder and you want your chipboard to be a color and you happen to have the distress oxides or if you have acrylic paint you can paint it first with the acrylic paint use the embossing pad on top of it and then we're going to sprinkle embossing powder and that'll ensure that it's going to be whatever color you want it to be I'm getting a fresh piece of paper so my embossing powder doesn't stick to the ink. Except what's on here. Hey, Natty, welcome. So glad to have you here. We're embossing some chipboard. I'm just tapping off the excess. Okay, I'm going to set this in my pan and we'll heat emboss this. Brandon Ferris, 50 pound glitter bomb. Thank you, Crafty Blind Girl. That's who it was. So if you want to look it up, do Brandon Ferris, F E R R I S, 50 pound glitter bomb, and you can see the video I was talking about. Oh, well, welcome. So glad to have you here. I just applied some distress oxide ink to a piece of chipboard, a laser cut piece of chipboard. Then I put some embossing powder because the ink stays wet for a little while. And now I'm gonna use my heat tool to heat up the embossing powder on the chipboard. Do subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. I usually show how to create a journal during our live stream that will last about oh two and a half hours. We try to keep it around that. And then I'm live again on Thursdays doing mixed media. We'll do things like gel printing and then taking those gel prints and turning them into journal cards or journal pages or pockets or little mini journals. We've done all kinds of stuff. All right, I'm just watching to see if the powder has been heated up all the way. You don't want to heat it too long. You'll burn your embossing powder. I don't think I got it. Do you see how glittery that is? I think it's gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to pick this up off my pan. It's going to be hot, so I'm not going to touch the embossed part. Lay that down for a moment. Get rid of that. Okay. And then, did I miss something earlier? No. Okay, I see. I, I used a different piece. Okay, cool. We can use those. Let me go back. Okay. So now I have this peacock that I did the wrong way, but that's okay. I'm going to put it right here. Just glue it down. Isn't it yummy, glittery? And what I like about embossing powder, because you heat it, it sticks. So you might get a little bit of glitter transfer at the very first when you make it. But if you rub it a few times, it shouldn't, after you know a couple of times touching it, transfer glitter where if you use glue and sprinkled glitter down you'll sometimes still get transfer of glitter all right so let's put it right about there all 
right, I'm going to go ahead and just lay my acrylic block on top of that to put that in place. All right, so I'm going to clean up just a little bit. We're going to uh, put our journal together. Do you all believe it? I've, I've done a whole bunch of pages. Is the connected flower stencil connected flower? Um, is that the one? I think it might be. I think that one is kind of. Let me see if I can remember. Connected flower. Oh, no, no. Connected flowers is not fragile. It's a good stencil. It is not a fragile stencil. That's a good one. You love that blue color? Isn't it amazing? All right, so I think it's pretty much glued down. I'm just trying to make sure there's not any excess glue. And I'm going to move some things out of the way. Did y'all enter the raffle? This is for Crafty Blind Girl. This is going to go in. Oh, it's going to the other side. This is going to go on the other side. I'm just waiting for this to dry. We're going to put this guy right here. And this one is going to go right there. Isn't that cool? I need to clean all my brushes. Okay. I've got another journal page that I can show y'all that I made before the live stream. And then we're going to put the journals together. Just kind of cleaning up a little bit here on those. This can go in here. This can go over here. This needs to go up there. I kind of have my desk cleaned off. It'll be somewhat ready for Thursday. I'm going to decide what we're going to do Thursday. If there's something you want to see, let me know. I can get out the connected flowers for Thursday. All right. Okay. So that is my journal page that we just made. What do you think? You like the glitter? I think the glitter is pretty. It's just a, so colorful. So fun. And then here is one that I made earlier. Different gear, but same concept. I used the parrot this time and fussy cut it. And it's on a gel print. And I happen to have the word airship in the kit. Oh, I forgot one more stamp. I forgot a stamp right there. We have to do that. Sometimes, you know, you, you got to look at them, see what you missed. I'm going to stamp that right here. Yeah. That's better. That's much better. Love glitter. <laughs> Beautimus. Ah. <sighs> I understand. I understand, Sam. I understand. You got to see what it's like. All right, so let's set these aside. I think that's going to be my center page. I think that's going to be my center page. Here's a page that I made, and I used, um, this is a journal card that I made. I showed a picture of it on my Facebook page. This is all rubber stamping. There's the shabby, or no, stitches around the edges. There is key, hotel key in the background. There is a uh, tiny little letter, little letter, little letter on top. Then I use the tag. I use the seven from the Gaudi alphabet. And I may not be sounding that right. I wrote no, like in N-O number. I've used the small butterfly. I use the postal cube and use that postmark out of there. Gather your dreams. I use the keyhole from the keyhole cube and made that journal card. So that is in here. Back here, 
I used none of those tear off pages and I used win noon. I stamped it up so you got part of it and then I came down to the bottom and stamped the other portion. Shabby stitches down the edge. Here is a piece of paper that I sprayed with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and then I used a green on top of it. So I have two different colors of green to get those dots and then I stamped it with the gears. So that goes over here. On this side, I used pink from the raspberry, picked raspberry, and, and did the clear embossing powder on top so you get all that fun glitter. And this is from the kit. I stamped in the background here with the gears and used the word memories from the kit. Do you love that squirrel, y'all? Is it time, right? Y'all in the raffle. <laughs> Um, here I made a pocket. Norella this time, I don't know why she did this. There was only one corner tuck spot in the kit. So I decided to make my own. So I fussy cut an elephant that had the border around it. I rubber stamped the garden rose. I think that's right. Bella Garden Rose, Garden Rose. And I colored it in with the yellow Tattered Angels and the green from the kit. And then I used another image from the kit in the background. And I traced the other pocket that was in the kit so you can see the shape to get this sh weird shape. Okay. In the background, I stamped the butterfly collage. I just thought that was a fun stamp. And I made a belly band out of the same paper that is from the digital and use one of the elements from the kit. Another element from the kit. Of course, the journal card is an element from the kit. And then here is same thing. This is uh, had the pocket so I can make them alike. This one I used the elephant from the subscription box. Lateral thinking. Exactly. There you go. You like the little tag? Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Love the elephant. Isn't that fun? On there. Steampunk elephant. And this comes in the subscription box. Same concept as I did before. I used a scrap of paper, stamped the gears in the background, used the pink embossing powder, or pink raspberry ink pad with the clear embossing powder. This is another element from the kit. Okay. All right. So then, is it time for the raffle? I can't remember. Yes, that, uh, that, this elephant comes in the subscription box, the chipboard elephant. Yeah, that comes in the subscription box. You get it, and you get, um, I haven't used it this time, but you get this dream in the kit. That comes in the subscription box. You also get the light bulb in the subscription box. And you get, where is it? Besides gears, you also get, so you'll get keys. You'll get three different sizes of keys. You'll get this little set of gears that you can use however way you want. You get this B chipboard in the kit as well that has gears. You see all that? You get lots and lots of chipboard this time. All right. Sure, it's time for the raffle. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was on time. All right, so we're going to do the, la the last free raffle. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put together this journal. And then uh, we're going to draw the winner of those people who donated today. I'm just kind of figuring out how I want to position these. This is the covers that Norella printed. I was going to do the giraffe on the front and I decided to do the squirrel since, you know, squirrely. <laughs> and then here's the other journal cover we're going to use from the large journal kit. 
And then here's the inside of that one. You can get this as a printed kit or as a digital download or both. And then I have journal pages. So I'm going to look at these really fast. Oh, I like the elephant. Oh yeah, and the la the lady uh, lioness. So that's going to be my first page. And then let's see here. Maybe here. And then this will be there. And then this will be next. I may switch it around. There's four pages that I'm going to use between the two journals. Let me see if I got it on my page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I think I'm going to move this one over to here. I'm basing it on experience because I've made journals so many times and looking at the patterns of when I flip through the journal what am I going to get and I kind of do like a every other page type thing oh your enter your printer eeks here yay that's awesome then you can do all the downloads <laughs> all right let's pick a winner of the kit from our goodies from crafty blind girl All right. Uh-oh, what happened here? Come on, computer. All right, the winner of the goodies from Crafty Blind Girl, and I will send the address to her. So if I don't have your mailing address, make sure that when you win, you go over to lindaisrael.com, use the Contact Me form, and send me your mailing address so I can get it to Crafty Blind Girl for the goodies that she is going to send to you, okay? All right, and the winner is, y'all ready? Kristen Hamilton. Kristen, you won the goodies from Crafty Blind Girl. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to have the beginnings of the raffle for the journals here at the end. I believe we made it, but I'm not positive to be able to raffle off two journals. We may be really close. Thank you for subscribing, Nadine, to my channel. Thank you so much. See you later, Kim. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have an amazing day, Kim. We'll see you Thursday, hopefully. Y'all take care. Oh, no, not again. I'm sorry, Robin, that you're having computer problems. All right, let's do the... These people donated. Crafty Blind Girl, James Sneed, Margie. Thank you so much, Margie. Oh, she do you donated twice, Margie. Thank you so much. Donna uh, Luters. I hope I'm saying that right. Please forgive me if I butcher your name. Karen, Laura Johnson, Janice Brammer, Sherry, Barb Dingwell, and Jennifer Edmondson, Lori, Robin, Rhonda, Milham, Bennett, Cynthia, and Margie again. Thank you so much for your donation. So what will happen now is I'm going to have a raffle now for the um, journals. There will be one journal per raffle that we're going to give away. And this is for donators, donators only, D-O-N-A-T-R. Only one junk. I oh, see. Let's do pumped out steam to junk journal. It's going to be long. Donators only. All right. So those names that I have called off, you are now eligible right now to enter the raffle. Only those who have donated are eligible to win one of these two journals that I'm making. All right, so, all right, I think we'll want that for the first page. Sometimes I change it up. I'm going to do that today. I'm going to make that my second page because I like the polka dots. When you first open the journal, I think that's pretty. So we're just going to swap it out just a little bit. Okay. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just picking up the pages and putting them down where I want them in my journal. 
even the coloring book page. I'll make sure I try to do as best I can to get it in the center of my journal. These mixed media pages. Even the notebook paper. The printed pages. My pages with all the pockets. All right, and then I have my junk journal tools that I'll grab. Good luck to everybody who's donated today. Thank you so much for being here. And then we'll do a flip through of these journals once I have them bound together. And we'll do the drawing. I'm going to set that aside for a moment, grab the next cover, and pick up all the pages. If I can get them in my hand. And remember, if you donated, go over to my website, lindaisrael.com, and make sure that you create a user account, and then send me a message through the contact me form that says, hey, I'm so-and-so, I donated on YouTube, and I'll get you added to the YouTube donators membership where you get the free digital download, so you get this page free. There's a set of three in that grouping. And I have a bunch of other digital downloads as well that I offer to all my donators for free. And you get a discount on orders. <laughs> all right. Go ahead and grab another giant paper clip. Use a bookbinder's needle. Got my craft pick. All right. So I'm just using these big paper clips to hold my pages together so they don't shift on me. Because when you go to poke holes for your binding, you don't want it going all wonky. So keep them together by using clips. You can use binder clips, whatever you want. Some people even have a book binder's cradle. I don't have room to always bring mine out. So I just put it in a V. I have some fun foam and I have a Tim Holtz craft pick. And we're just going to poke holes in three spots to do a pamphlet stitch. I put the fun foam underneath so I don't poke a hole in my desk. All right, so I got that one. I like this because it retracts. I've got some wax linen thread, and we're going to cut one, two, three times the height of the journal. I'm doubling it because I am making two journals. So I just fold it over. That way I only have to cut it once from the spool. Put the spool away. And then I've got bookbinders needles. I offer these in my shop too for five dollars. They're sturdy, they're small, but the eye on them is nice and wide so you can see it to get your thread through. We're going to start in the center, so I'm finding that center hole. I'm going to pull the thread through to the front side, but I'm going to leave a little tail, so I'll put my thumb on it to make sure, or my finger. And then we'll come up here on the back, on the outside, to the inside again. Hold my thumb down so it doesn't hold the, on my thread, so it didn't pull through all the way. Pull this up. Now, I like to make sure that this thread is pulled up at the top hole, or bottom in this case. And then when I go to put my thread and needle back through, I don't want to split that other thread. It helps you to keep your journals bound tightly. That's why I like wax linen thread too. It doesn't split like a crochet thread or yarn or even uh, embroidery floss. So now I'm just slipping it under that first stitch. I like to pull in opposite directions and make sure it's tight on the outside as well as the inside. There's no extra loops, which I have done. And we got to do this. <laughs> Found it! 
Hey, Marie, how are you, lady? It's been a while. All right, so there is one journal. I'll set that aside and let's bind this one. Well, did y'all like what I showed you today on the uh, tutorials? I hope you did. Let me know. Give me some feedback, especially after this video is over. You can come back and leave a comment on the video. It kind of lets me know. It also lets other people know that are watching maybe some stuff that you saw that you thought was fun. Just let me know what you thought. All right, so I'm going to put my tools away so I have them the next time in my junk journal tools bag. My thread came out of my needle. But it makes it easy with that eye. All right, so we're going to go back through the center again. As soon as I find the hole, there. Love it. Right there. Hold the thread out of the way. Go this way. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you loved it. Thank you so much, everybody. Marie, you're going to have to watch the replay. And I'll remember, I forgot to say this, that you can go back and watch the replay. If there was something I did today that you were like, oh, how did she do that? You can watch the replay. You can even uh, tell it to speed up the speed by clicking. If you're on a computer just below, look for that gear and change the speed to two times. If you're on like a mobile device, a tablet, usually in the upper corner, there's three little dots that you can use. All right. The journals have been made. Are y'all ready for this? I'll get my pen. We're going to sign them. I'm going to flip through them. I'll pick the first winner. You'll tell me which cover you want. Do you want the squirrel or the parrot? We're singing away. I'm going to put my, I'm going to sign up here on the edge. All right. 2020. We're, we're getting on the, the end of the 2020, aren't we? We hope. We can only hope. We can survive the year. Okay. Nope. Getting ready to do it, Jennifer. Uh-oh. Get, get in the raffle, Jennifer, for your donating. For donating. Yep, yep. It's time. All right. So here's the first journal with the parrot on it. So that's what the cover looks like. Here is the first page. I decided to use one of my pages as the first page. And then here is Norella's page. Do you think I did good with the coloring? You know, kind of going back and forth. The green is almost a yellow in here, isn't it? <laughs> Fast forward, Linda. She sounds like a chipmunk. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> and then here's where we stamped on that page. I used the uh, flower chain stencil, Sam, if you're still here. <laughs> I made a pocket here. I do I did the technique where I put that extra piece of paper on here so I have the full width of the pocket. Journal card here. Using the chipboard. This is from the Steampunk Journal chipboard set. That's where that one's from. Use the little page. So you have little goodies that you can come across for some interest. I added, oh, it slid to the bottom, but that's okay. Uh, on the coloring book page, got a little tab here. So if you want to stick something on there, you can. We did some stenciling, stamping, and used some of the fussy cut elements there. This is one of my gel prints that I scanned in and stamped on top. Used some of the elements from the kit. And this is from the kit. Here's where we use that book page in the background from the repair manual. We've got some writing area here. We've got an image from the kit. We've got the notebook paper. I love it. I love the hummingbird. I haven't even used the hummingbird yet in a while. I'll have to get that out for the next journal. 
there's another squirrel. There's the Time Flies stamp set. Did some embossing, that glittery embossing. Made a little file folder here from the kit. That right there. I left this tails long, so if you want to put uh, charms or something on there, you can. And then here is a journal card we made, we stamped. See where I did time and the key up there, the jeweled key. Another peacock that I made with the embossing powder. Yeah, you're welcome, Sam. You're welcome. Made this little pocket just using some scraps of paper and stamping elements from the kit. You love the, the rust, rusty, co coppery color? Yeah, another one of these little envelopes. And then there's another ship. Stenciling on there. The bird, the bird, the bird. If you're missing a link to something, check the description box. If I didn't put it in there, leave me a message and I'll get a link for you. I love how the music page came out. You see the butterfly peeking in off the edge there. Journal card there. And this is with the tickets. It's another way to use those tickets. Rubber stamping. Another embossing powder. I was trying to use a bunch of those chipboard pieces. I did make this a tuck spot, so if you want to put something under there, you can. And then there's the last. All right, so let's do the last journal. We'll do the squirrel. We'll pick a winner, and then you can tell me which one you want. Same concept with the pocket. This time, the pocket was from the kit instead of my making it. So the parrot has the pocket that I made, but the squirrel has the elephant chipboard piece from the subscription box. This was fun. I'm really enjoying this kit. I love all the color that I could to use with it. Uh, some of the steampunk gears and the various rubber stamps. Punked out steam too. And I still have the first set. Um, I have a few of the subscription boxes for it. It's not a subscription anymore, but I have those boxes, creative boxes. Um, and then I have the digital available as well for the first set kit. If you missed out on it. Or if you didn't get all the elements. I have printed it. I have digital. I think I have one uh, Glimmer Mist left from the first kit set. Y'all have any questions? You like it? Thank you, Crafty Blind Girl. And there's the last one. I like the polka dots. See, did you notice that this is the design that inspired my diamond uh, stencil? Can you see that? How it's kind of a concept of what Norella had in the background and I just had to start doodling to see what I could do. All right, now is the time. I'm going to put some more stuff away, get a drink. <clears throat> time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. I just noticed that my craft mat was moving. Love it. Thank you, Mary Jo. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Let's see if everybody's in the raffle. All right, we have Barb, Lori, Donna, Crafty Blind Girl, Margie, James, Robin, Karen, Janice, Jennifer, Laura, Sherry, and Cynthia. Is that everybody? Crafty Blind Girl, Karen, Jan Janice. Was Janice in there? Did I say Janice? Yes. Um, Sherry. Jennifer Edmondson, did you get in? Yes. And Cynthia, 
and Margie. Is Margie in there? Yes. Okay. Everybody's in. Max, keep on slipping, slipping onto the floor now. <laughs> yeah, my mat because it was just it was just kind of creeping this way. <laughs> I don't know. You love it? Thank you. Love the diamond stencil. Thank you. Both are great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's pick the winner. The first winner is, are you ready? Tell me which one you want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> Barb Dingwell, congratulations. Do you want the squirrel or the parrot? Tell me now. Tell me, tell me. It was oozing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Which one would you like, Barb? Squirrel, please. All right, so Barb gets the squirrel. <laughs> All right, so let's see who gets the parrot. And the winner of the parrot journal. And the odds may ever be in your favor. <laughs> Robin! Robin, you won! Congratulations, Robin! You deserve it. You do so much for me. You're making the donations and taking care of that. Your computer's being a pain. So congratulations, Robin. You won the Parrot Journal. Oh, Robin says pick another winner, please. Oh, Robin's being Jennifer. Uh, uh, Jennifer. I saw Jennifer's name. Uh, generous. <laughs> All right. So I'll give you a second to say congratulations to Robin. And thank you, Robin. And I'll pick another winner. <laughs> That's right. You Didn't you win another one of my steampunk journals? I can't remember. Yes, you did. Because it's uh, from the other kid, I think. Robin says, no, pick another winner. Ugh, we shouldn't have got in the raffle, silly. <laughs> she wanted the squirrel. That's what it was. She wanted the squirrel. Do you want me to take the cover off and print a squirrel for you? <laughs> All right, we're going to pick another winner. <laughs> Oh dear. And everybody says, Yay! <laughs> yes, that's what she wanted. She wanted the squirrel one. Barb took it. All right, the winner of the journal is <laughs> Karen Owens. Karen, you get the parrot journal. Congratulations. <laughs> Robin says, No! <laughs> Oh dear. My face hurts from laughing, y'all. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my take of a colorful steampunk journal uh, that it inspires you. Use some color. Have some fun. Get your stamps and your stencils. Use those old pages. Use your gel prints and stencil. Pardon me, pages. I love, I love how fun this came together. Robin says, "No, <laughs> you can have it." No, Barb. <laughs> Congratulations, Karen. I have your address, so I'll get that to you. I'm gonna take a break because my face hurts. <laughs> From laughing and smiling. <laughs> uh, Y'all are so awesome. Thank you for being here today and hanging out with me. Y'all make me laugh. I have a lot of fun. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you on Thursday. We'll do some mixed media. I'll get out some stencils and play around. Make some fun stuff. Yeah, I hope to see you too, Robin. I hope your computer's still working. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm going to get off here. It's time for dinner and a break. 
and y'all have an amazing rest of your day and week and uh, again i i thank you so so very much do check the description box uh, yeah your butts no mine too i'm gonna go for a walk for a while check the description box below for links to the friendly junk journal people facebook group who the people that are admin here in my chat are also admin of the Friend, uh, friendly Facebook group and they're an awesome uh, group of people we have swaps and lots of other good stuff so we love to have that you're welcome you as well all right you're very welcome you're very welcome thank you everybody you're welcome all right so we're gonna get off here all right thank you thank you thank you bye everybody see you th uh, Thursday bye